Hello students, today we are going to see wavelength division multiplexing from unit number 5. In the last lecture, we have seen frequency division multiplexing. Uh, in this lecture, we shall see wavelength division multiplexing and the next type of multiplexing that is time division multiplexing we shall see in the next class. So what is wavelength division multiplexing? Wavelength division multiplexing is used in the optical fiber communication where the data rates are very high. The WDM is an analog multiplexing technique to combine the optical signal. It is very similar to the FDM that is frequency division multiplexing only the thing is that the frequency the signals involved in this are of very high frequency and these frequency signals are having different frequencies. So here you can see that there are three input signals with the wavelength lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda 3. So <clears throat> in the another terms we can say that we are having three very high frequency signals whose frequencies are respectively f1, f2 and F3 and their corresponding wavelengths are lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda 3. So in the wavelength division multiplexing, this <coughs> multiplexing happens with the help of some optical device and the three signals are converted into a sig single uh, signal or they are multiplexed and they are sent through optical fiber cable. A re exactly reverse uh, pro process happens at the receiver where <coughs> the multiplex signals are demultiplexed and these signals they are separated into the three different uh, signals having the wavelength lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda 3. Again the device used for demultiplexing is some optical device. So essentially the wavelength division multiplexing uh, is very similar to the frequency division multiplexing only the thing is that the frequencies involved the signal uh, is having the very high frequencies. Uh, we already <coughs> we are aware that the prisms are used for the purpose of uh, uh, either combining the uh, light signal or they, they can be used for spreading the light signal of the uh, different frequencies. So we can use <coughs> a prism as a multiplexer. This particular prism will combine three different signals lambda 1, lambda having the frequencies or wavelength lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda 3 into a signal a single 
signal which would be passed through the optic fiber optic cable and at the other end uh, this combined uh, signal can be separated by another prism which acts as the demultiplexer and the <coughs> three signals will be separated having the wavelength lambda 1 lambda 2 and lambda 3 so this is the wavelength division <coughs> multiplexing uh, we shall stop here in this lecture uh, in the next lecture we shall see time division multiplexing which are of two types synchronous and statistical time division multiplexing uh, so based on this wdm there is uh, an assignment question question number two and uh, you can solve this question and uh, you can uh, send your responses uh, to my email id or on the whatsapp group <coughs> which is the cit 2022 batch or the groups which is specially made for uh, FCCN uh, you can find the lecture presentation material uh, for this video lecture on GitSub. so <clears throat> thank you and see you in the next lecture thank you